Hi everyone. Firstly, as always, thank you very much for being part of the channel. Make sure if you like the videos, you press like. If you haven't subscribed, press subscribe and tap the notification button so you can be notified every time we've got a video. Now this week is a busy one. It's the very early stages of my rehearsals for the musical Grease. And I'm going to take you a little bit behind the scenes today of just a day. It's a typical day in the life of rehearsals. Now remember, this is early part of the rehearsals. So as the time goes on, I'll get more of the cast involved. But at the moment, you're just going to see what I'm doing in a day of rehearsal at Grease. So thank Thank you guys as always enjoy it the next morning okay first thing i do is i get my watch because i'm going to go to the gym and my headphones shower let's go after my shower i put this on so I'm gonna roll on and a little bit you might think it's weird because i'm going to the gym but i always like to smell nice so yes it's weird that i have a shower before i go to the gym and then a shower after i go to the gym the first shower is to wake me up make me smell nice and the second one is to make sure i'm completely Anyway, time to get the gym shoes on. Let's go. Do you know what? It's really nice because when we're doing rehearsals for Greece, it means that I can get up super early, go get my coffee, I can go do a workout and stuff, and then I've got a full day of rehearsals. And it is fun and it's intense, but obviously because I'm playing more than one character means that I have to sort of be on it and know where everyone's coming in on all their parts. So it's really good fun. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to film a lot of what's going on there, but I'll just try and get little bits and pieces so you can see. But you've got to come and see the show. Grease is the word. People that don't know about intermittent fasting and things like that, they ask like, you know, how can you just have an espresso for breakfast? That's gross. You've got to think the espresso gives you the kick. It gives you the energy, the caffeine, but it also dehydrates you. That's why it's really important to drink water as well. And a lot of Greeks and Italians, you'll see it. They'll always have a glass of water with their espresso. Even legends like Samo Farah, they always say they have an espresso before they go to the gym. It is something I've done for years. Also, it means then I don't really eat until about one o'clock in the afternoon. So I like to intermittent fast. I get people saying that all the time. They're like, doesn't it taste gross, espresso? A good espresso shouldn't taste gross. But I'm just like, well, most people drink tequila and it tastes horrible, but it makes them feel better. Mine's coffee, non-alcohol based. What was your name? Michelle. Michelle, you did say that. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my marble. What I will say is that we kind of match. That's all I'm saying in the black top. All right, shall I get over it now? Thank you, I'll take it I'll over. take it, I'll take it. Oh, you know, I you. always, always like to take my stuff. Now, actually, that's a good point for people. Always take your stuff back because, well, you don't have to. I'm not your dad, <laughs> but you know what I mean. That's that for a cool effect? It wasn't that cool, was it? Nope. Anyway, so I've had my coffee. Uh, I'm on my way to the gym now. Still very quiet because it's early. I love that. Yeah, so gym, then back to the hotel, then have my second shower, get ready for rehearsals. Does that mean I'm gonna have three showers today? Look, I don't want you to think that I'm wasting water. It's just that I'm super duper clean. Probably the wasted, for what you guys might think, the wasted. Again, no one cares, Pete, but I'm just gonna tell you. Probably the wasted shower is the first one. Maybe I'll cut back on that, but it's only because I like to feel, you know, fresh and wasted up before I go and you know I have my coffee in that first today maybe there'll be three shouts because of the rehearsals as well but please don't think I'm a waster okay about to go into the gym where you still got to wear masks We're good time for a workout before the day starts okay so I'm gonna go for a run which you're not gonna want to see I'm gonna do some hit training um, and then I'll catch you guys after on my way back I was sweating hard but I've towelled down back to the hotel so I can have a shower, get changed. Then I've got to take my lateral flow test and then I've got to go to the theater for rehearsals. All in a good day's work. I've got to do the lateral flow test. This is a pain, but we've got to do it every single day under the current rules. But if we've got this, I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna stick in my throat and nose. We've got this which is where I'm going to put the liquid. We've got, this has to be done every single day. Can you believe it? This is the thing that I'm going to put it in. So I'm going to put that there. And then what else have I got? And then I've got the solution, which is here. I mean, literally, if someone, when they come in to clean the room, I think they must be thinking, what's all this stuff doing around here? It's like, unless you know what it is, it's just so random to have all this stuff here. So look, so I'm going to open that, okay? I'm going to put that in here. There you go. Now, just wait. I'm going to just close it for a second and just leave it on the side here. This, oh God, this is going to go in my throat and then up my nose. That's just gross, dude. But we've got to do it. All right, ready? <coughs> Sorry, I'm good, you? Being better, being better. Woo! Now my nose. Oh. 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 
Oh yeah. Oh. <coughs> Woo! Right. So now I pick up this. Oh my god, my eyes are watering. We do that, and then we put that in there like that. And then what we do is you gotta squeeze the bottom. Oh man. Every day. Every day. The wake up call, that's for sure. Then you get this thing. I'm gonna just show you a lot. Yes. Two drops. One, two. Now, I'll just turn it around and show you. See, it's starting there. And you've got to give it enough time. If you have a line on the T, you got COVID. If you just got a line on the C, you're fine. There you go. Just the one line on the C. So I'll leave it. And then I've got to head down to the theatre. And on the way, I'm going to grab something, a snack that I can take with me. Okay, I'm off to rehearsals now. I've got my outfit on. I just want to show you my shirt. <laughs> In my hat. Uh, no, this is my my pass that I have to have this to get into the place. So I'm gonna walk there now. I like walking there because it's early and there's no one about. And I got my mask on and I can just get on with it. And it's awesome. And it's, well, I'm not gonna have my mask on when I'm walking. Okay, first things first. Always take the stairs. Always instead of the lift. <sighs> well, that's not first things first. First thing was the gym. No, first thing was coffee. No, first thing was teeth. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The guy said to me, oh, how much rehearsal do you want to do? And I said, I don't want to be good. I want to be great. You know, and I don't think that just going to rehearsals and doing the minimal amount. Yes, you might be good at it or you might do it, but I want to be great at it. I want to be the best I can be at it. I'm playing a couple of characters in Greece, not the country. <laughs> This is going to be amazing. Right, I'm in rehearsals and I'm looking at pictures from this wonderful photographer. And I did a definite no-no, which I never have done before. And it was the first time I realised how phones have changed our lives. I looked at this picture and I did this, trying to zoom in on that and realised what I did. No one cares, but I just thought I'd tell you. My lunch break. I have been eating so much over lockdown, I've decided to cut right back. So this is my breakfast and my lunch. And that sounds ridiculous, but I do eat a good dinner. And that's it. My bag. Select cash or select payment type. Okay, we'll go card. Thanks. Please follow the instructions on the pin pad. Will do. I'm still on my lunch break. So what I'm going to do is, it's my wedding anniversary this Sunday. Um, so me and Emily have been married six years. So what I'm going to do is go look for a card, a really nice card. She's saying she doesn't want anything. She's saying, please, can you just, just a card, just a card. But as if I'm going to do that. I guess it's a good place to look for a card. How funny is that? The first thing I saw. Now with cards, you can't just pick any old one. You've got to really see what words work and then what you're going to add inside. So I've got to give this a bit of thought. A card picked, but I am going to think a piece of jewellery would be nice. But the thing is, it's sugar. So if it's sugar, do I... I don't know what to do. Um, do I have to make it sugar? You know what, I'm going to think about this. Okay, so this is one of the rehearsal rooms. Obviously, we do some of the singing stuff there. This is some of my stuff. So, for example, you know, hey, 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 this is the main brain, Vince Fontaine. Going to start your day the golden way. Rock and roll to soothe your soul. You know, and there's all these little things and like, I don't know. It's great. Like, you got the looks. You know what I mean? That sort of thing. So it's going to be a bit of fun. If I'm in the radio booth and I'm projecting out, this would be some of like my tools, for example. And say I'm saying, you know, spinning the stacks of wax here at the House of Wax, W-A-X-X. <laughs> Who's in time? 1046. Sharpshooter pick hit of the week. A brand new one shooting up the charts like a rocket. By the Bell Do Race. You know, it's that sort of thing. So it'll be fun. <laughs> you got to come watch it. It's going to be great. This is Susie, by the way, and lovely Susie here has put a stocking on my head. I will not be robbing anything. And we're just trying on um, wigs for size. It's not, this is not dressed or anything. This is just a, I'll show you. <laughs> Marge just wants to say thank you very much. So this will be when I'm playing Frankie Avalon. Beauty school dropout, <laughs> no graduation day. Yeah, so that one, so that's going to be great. So we're going to big it. It's going to be massive by the time we're finished. Love that. How cool a wig is that? <laughs> Cool thing. I'm, so, they're rhetorical questions. Yeah. She's probably thinking. We've got some other wigs to try as well. Oh yeah, let's so do it. So this is all part of Beauty School Dropout as well. And there's all different wigs here for the different characters. This is gonna be so fun. Amazing. This is like my favorite, favorite time when we're trying all these different things on. So thanks guys. And this is for Saturday night. Okay, so we're gonna do dance rehearsal at the moment with Peter. We're doing some one-to-one -one session. It's our first dance session. He's very quick. He might deny it, but he's being incredibly quick. <sighs> sure about but we're that. doing a version of our hand dive that your body's doing two things very separately at the same time. So it's a bit confusing. So his brain at the moment is going, don't do it. And his ah. body's going, I wanna do it. So we're having a conflict. So that's why I'm gonna demonstrate. So we have six, seven, eight. 
open hip, open hip, open hip, together, round there, round there, cross, open. Brilliant. Thank you very much. And for everyone that doesn't know you, would you like to state your name, sir? Oh, yeah, my name's Richard, Richard Rowe. I'm the associate choreographer to the lovely dame, Arlene Phillips, on oh, yes. Greece, our UK tour. And yes, come and see us. It's a brilliant it's show. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. And what a way to come out of lockdown. Okay, so in the excitement of getting my food for dinner, I've smashed this glass. I don't want them to clean it. I want to. The only problem is I ain't got nothing to clean it with. Right, let's call downstairs. I was so excited about my food. Hello? Hello. I'm so sorry. I have smashed, a, well, one of the glasses is smashed on the floor. I will clean it. You do not need to do it. All I just need is a broom, if that's okay, or some... Yeah. No, I'll, no, I'll do it. You, if you just bring me the stuff, I'll do it. Okay, thanks. Bye. I've ordered from this place. I'm so excited. Vietnamese. Good morning, Vietnam. Good morning, Vietnam. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Yes, 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 yes. Din, din, dins. Woo. Oh, there's no cutlery. That was my fault. Dude, oh no, not good, not good. And now it's time for me to enjoy this. I'm so excited. And I found these, huh? Oh yes, so these are like summer rolls, Viet oh yum, yum with peanuts, oh, oh. And I'm gonna open this just so you can see. Ooh, yes. Oh, right. And oh, this is my lovely hotel room, by the way, where I'm staying while I'm rehearsing for Greece, or well, at least for this week, uh, which is really, really nice. And it's cute and it's cozy and I'm loving life. Okay, dokey. I'll catch you when I've finished eating. Or maybe not. And how would I catch you? You're not there. You're there, but I can't, I can't touch you. Do you know what I mean? Like I can't, anyway. So I won't catch you on the rebound. I actually won't catch you at all. Right, so it's gonna be my six year wedding anniversary. Actually, if this has come out on Friday, it's gonna be in two days time. I've known Emily for over 10 years now. How we met is incredible. So a lot of people know this, but for people that are from other countries watching this YouTube, firstly, thank you for watching me and our family. But I'll just tell you how I met Emily. It's so hilarious. But I had a, I had a problem with my kidney about 10 years ago and I ended up passing out. You know, I went to different doctors seeing what was wrong with me over a period of time and no one could find it anyway. One one night I collapsed and I got rushed to hospital. They said, we don't know what's wrong with you. We'll send you somewhere else. They sent me to another hospital. I remember waking up and the lady saying, you need to get operated on now. We can't operate on you. So they sent me to another hospital, which ended up being in Taunton in a place called Musgrove Hospital. Apparently on call that night was a man called Rue McDonough. And he, I now know him obviously, because he's my father-in-law. But back then, apparently when he was on call, he'd be on call loads of times, but he wouldn't always get the call, you know. Many times they would just call him and ask for advice so that he actually came in this night because he had to operate on me and it was an urgent operation. So he operated on me and I remember waking up and it was like, you know when that light's flashing on you, that big bright light on the hospital bed and he was standing in front of it or his head was in front of it and all I could see was the outline of him. He was like a halo and I thought it was Jesus. I'm not even kidding. I thought it was Jesus and I was like, where am I? Uh, anyway, he told me it was a slightly complicated operation but it was fine me and him became friends we became friends because he kept you know in touch like a good doctor does and he he's a urologist by the way so he operates on kidneys and prostates and all those sorts of things his aftercare was unreal and we became friends and i said please is there any way i can thank you he just said ah oh, what are you doing and i said well <laughs> i said well we're actually doing concerts at the moment we've got this big arena tour and he said well you won't be doing a concert now i said well no the first show is in two nights he goes absolutely not he goes you cannot do anything for the next two weeks i was like but we've sold the tickets anyway cut a long story short he said look just give me a few tickets and i'll get you know a couple of friends or a couple of the people from the family to come down so a couple of weeks later i remember i was doing a show in plymouth and i met some of Rue's family and one of those people was Emily and I thought oh really nice people and we all became friends and they saw the show and you know a few weeks later I got invited to their house for dinner and we all became friends and then my kids Junior and Princess they met the whole family Emily was just became a friend of the family like her other brothers did and her mum and dad and it was all fine anyway we became friends for two years and it was nothing more than that just friends we all got on so well the kids 
I would see Emily and her brothers all the time. And then about two years later, I was like, oh my God, I've got feelings for this girl. What do I do, you know? What if she doesn't like me? And what if I speak to Rue, who operated on me, and he's thinking, if I knew this was gonna happen, I would have done a different operation on you. You know what I'm saying? I had to ask his permission. I said, oh my God, I've got feelings. I don't even know if she likes me. So first of all, I had to kind of suss out if she even liked me and I kind of got the feeling, but I wasn't hundred percent sure. And then when I was sort of sure, I thought I'd better go and ask her dad. So I went and asked him and said, look, I'm really sorry, but I've got these feelings. And he said, do you think I'm stupid? He said, I knew that. He said, I could tell you to. And I'm like, but, but it's been two years and not in a million years that I think that, well, not in two years that I think this. And um, I asked him for his permission to ask her if she would be my girlfriend or go out on a date with me. And he said yes. Then I asked her permission, which of course is the most important. And the rest is history. As of two days time, we would have been married six years. So happy anniversary, Emily. I love you lots. The kids love her. My daughter, Princess, is, is 14 years old and she's known Emily since she was three. So, and I'm getting wet. So that's the story. And that's why this anniversary is very important. And even though she doesn't want any gifts, I'll do something for her. We're gonna go out for dinner together. I've bought her a nice card. I'm gonna write some beautiful words. And that's it. Well guys, thank you very, 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 very much for watching. Make sure you please come and see us live in Greece, the theaters. It's gonna be amazing. Honestly, you're gonna have a great night out. So get your tickets. We start in Leicester on July the 30th and it goes everywhere. So uh, come and see it. And also, you know, again, thank you for all your support because this channel cannot work without you guys. You know that. Again, like, subscribe if you haven't. And always press that notification button because that's the one that's gonna let you know when a new video is out. Thank you guys can't do it without you love love